Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? It's TK and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm bringing you Super Botch again. And guys, this one is with a tweak and that tweak is gonna be Rocket Loons. Yes, in Tunnel 15, the only weakness of this strategy was that we had to use the Warden a lot. And basically, with four Rocket Loons that I've added to this army with six regular Wall Workers, and I'm gonna give you all the tips for them both, this army is actually kind of unstoppable and having your warden with your main Sui is just gonna provide you a lot of tanking and a lot of you know invincibility that you can do with the warden ability then the king gauntlet which is bogged and then the phoenix on the king so that is three warden abilities you have in a single attack so without any further ado let's dive in and see some of my best attacks and hopefully you enjoy this video let me know if you like to see more so let's go all right we are here on the first base and i wanted to bring you all the four style of bases guys we're gonna have diamond and uh, box uh, ring and anti three star Let's start with the diamond, which is this one. What I like to have with these rocket loons and what I like to do basically is to send them straight into the areas that I want the bling to eventually fly towards because, well, sometimes with the loons, you might not make it, guys. But look at the way I'm dropping these loons from an angle that, of course, the Tesla really messed us up, but still, this rocket loon went in front of the blimp and it could have found any trap that was there. And now we're gonna double clone into the areas that there couldn't be a bomb and two, a giant bomb and two bombs, which is just gonna be a very free clone. And that's how you can go from a side a lot easier than a regular five loon approach, because even I can bait that. I have tried to bait it with like a Tesla, with air bombs and it had worked before so it will work again against a lot of the players but with this rocket loon approach nothing can really defend this and we're gonna dive into the ring and the box which is just they're just getting demolished left and right man literally no one can defend this type of blimp but in general that's how you can get that town hall down and the surrounding and give your heroes as you can see a path towards that whole compartment with the infernos now i wanted to really use this ice golem here to freeze that ricochet cannon by the time my heroes reach it so we don't have to deal with it as crazy as you know you probably may have thought now we're gonna funnel the defenses that are lower here because that may pull our root riders here we're gonna pop the warden ability and these heroes and the root riders will keep breaking through walls and go around the base nicely and by the way about the wall breakers i have six regular wall breakers in this army and they are maxed so if you have maxed wall break two of them will break through a tunnel 15 wall so keep that in mind and then of course three of them will break a maxed wall but because the bases are all copied and pasted and not a lot of people have walls upgraded a lot of the walls of everyone in any like legend uh, player they're random so there's not like they actually put maxed walls around the base no they are really random so you can always two shot one of those walls and you can basically open three walls if you're nice with the wall breakers but at the end of the day even if there's a maxed wall and you drop six all of your wall breakers together and they don't reach the wall but they die next to it you will still open the wall so that's why i have six and not five for example but yeah for this base it's basically done it was done before like when i did the archer clone i knew it would be triple because we got a very good funnel and pathing for our heroes to go around the base and with the poison towers not much damage on the base but let's go on to the next hit and see it okay we got dark star here and this is his base one of the bases that is very common right now in legends league because it just seems like it is anti super archer but not with our you know rocket loon strategy because guys what i want to do is to drop these rocket loons in a way that they find the early traps and i really don't want to get my blimp too far now this approach is just out of this world because the way it works is you basically get one side of the base fully destroyed so you can see three loons they're gonna go to that air defense i kept one i kept one just in case we need to use it later i didn't need to use all of them the blimp will take out the air defense yup it did and then look at that invisibility then i'm gonna clone to the left then rage and another invis i missed that one archer thankfully the poison tower didn't drop on it but still this is the value that we are going for. You saw how far and sided I dropped my blimp, but we are getting everything from the middle of the base as well. So you don't necessarily need to be in the core 
to grab the core you know what i'm saying that's why and now you can see the right side of the base with the scatter shot and everything is gone so you follow the heroes and go complete opposite side because you have the warden it's so much easier to do it without a warden you would not make it to the town hall and by the time you are to the town hall the monolith and the invisibility will hurt you but look I'm pulling the ice golem not gonna deal with it with it not gonna deal with it with my heroes these root riders and everything will be very nice now again we're gonna pull the ice try to drop the barbarians for them we have one rocky loon that i think i may have dropped it on this uh, ricochet cannon just to damage it a bit so the queen can take it out faster but yeah same ex again same thing we're gonna kill the um ice golem in another corner just make sure you keep going back to it so you know you know you take it out and it don't just come next to your army few wallbreakers there to speed up my king and i'm gonna follow the king back in now in here is where you can see the root riders that will go to the um bomb tower and then they will go to the builder hut or the other way around they will go to the wizard tower then the mortar so keep them alive at all costs i'm gonna pop the warden this is where the root rider will do their magic and they will go in and by this time you're probably wondering where, where is your champion i mean i really wanted to swag her that's why i'm keeping these barbarians for the last compartment i don't think my heroes can make it through this one just because the monolith is around walls that are closed and the king ability didn't catch that wall that was unfortunate but it is what it is we have to use the champion most likely on this attack and we have a free spell but in general this base, a lot of people were saying it's so hard to hit, you cannot super archer anywhere, it's risky with the invisibility on the town hall. You can already see, man, with the rock loons, you have no problem because you're keeping the warden in literally every single one of your attacks. Like every single attack that I'm showing you today, we kept the warden, make sure we pop it with the king ability inside it, and then the king will get bogged as well. You will keep the root riders alive, and let's go on to the ring base. All right, we are here on this ring base and guys, I'm going to tell you the value we are going to get is the same value that you would have invested the world in. I looked at this wizard tower. Now, we're going to go in with a few loons, then our few um, rocket loons. You can see the trap they're going to pull. Then they pull the sweeper. So I don't even need to freeze it. But guess what? We can even land here. That is enough for us to be able to clone into the core and rage and envies just in time so we can get this whole area demolished and get the town hall yes now guys i'm gonna tell you this with the ring bases sometimes don't even plan to go for the town hall because it's just easier to just go like this you know if you get the town hall good if not it's fine because look at the value imagine if the town hall is up it's fine we have four heroes three root riders ice golem titan 23 barbarians and two spells that's what i'm saying Never be scared that you didn't get the Town Hall in the ring base because in Town Hall 16, there's just no problem, man. With all these hero abilities, you're completely fine to go around the base on your own. Just have the Warden. If you're going to invest the Warden with the Blimp, try to get the Town Hall because if you don't get the Town Hall and you invested the Warden, that's when you need to be worried, okay? Not other way around. Now, these Root Riders, I want to keep them alive, same as my King ability. He's going to be stuck on the Ice Golem, trying to take this Mortar down as well with the Hog Rider. You can see a simple Hog Rider can give me a defense and then the minion cleaning it up. Now, the Titan and the Ice Golem got a bit separated. It is what it is. But guys, guess what? There's not much base left. Like, come on, man. How is this guy going to defend against such a push and then such hero abilities? Because this King ability, man, like, come on. Who's going to defend it? And I don't even have my gauntlet upgraded that much. I have a level 11. But my raid gem on the warden is actually maxed out. I would recommend you to use a raid gem in this army. The healing tome is also good. I believe Rin is using the healing tome. And uh, in general, both of them are really good. I personally prefer the raid gem because it fastens up the attack strategy. It makes it faster. And guys, I mean, do we really need this RC and maybe three quarter of our barbs that's 16 barbarians man that's like a whole lava loon you know it's crazy but in general that's how you can defeat these bases that are rings and i didn't even care about the ring as well the town hall itself is not too important but we got it anyway so let's go on to the anti-three store and see what i do 
all right we are here on the anti three star and guys if you like this whole like um guides and stuff that i'm giving you in these attacks i actually have coaching lessons in blueprint so you can go ahead and order a session a private pro session with me so you can learn a lot more about these strategies but i will always try my best to bring as much as possible in the youtube videos and let's go on to the attack man hopefully you enjoy this because this blimp is what is actually possible to do now i know there was no initial traps just because it was no trap that doesn't mean it's a high risk to send your blimp right above an area that has around what is that eight empty spots that could be literally three secret aim mines and multiple giant bombs and spring traps but with the rock alone it just gives you that safety of having to go through that area with the blimp you saw it the way i dropped the rock loons i made sure they go to that archer tower to make sure they actually find any trap now i'm pulling the ice right next to my heroes but i'm gonna kill it separately as i told you because it's important to not go through it with your heroes and now i'm funneling the defenses on the outside because they are important to pull your root riders to the outside now this rage tower is a bit annoying so guys I had to go with the early warden just because if I went with the other angle of the blimp we would get one of the rage towers but we didn't get it so that's why both rage towers being up you most likely need to pop your warden ability on one of them and then have that king ability on the other one because the king ability is basically like a warden ability right now because it's bugged and it's always in front of your main army that's why it can help you out a lot man trust me now with the king always be patient this was not the best area to pop it that's why i waited the king is gonna go around then when he's going to go to the wall of the rage tower look at his ability on popping now he's gonna be invincible going through this but of course they had a ricochet cannon so he's hitting my queen unfortunately but we're gonna add the champion to keep the king going and to keep my queen alive as well we have seven barbarians always have a few barbarians at the back end and that's how we can easily triple the anti three star bases with that method because you have the rock loons no one can really stop your blimp in this strategy and that was the only thing back in town 15 you know the rock loons was gonna be one of my best um super troop to bring to this strategy but now that i can add it because of the root riders and these hero abilities i just love the way they work out man hopefully you enjoyed it see you soon on the next one take care and peace